Okay, guys, good evening. Thank you very much for joining today. Welcome everyone. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to your class. Let's see. Well, some of you are already joining, so we're going to begin because it is eight o'clock. So thank you guys. Today is our session number 12, right? Tomorrow is Thursday, so we're going to have our session number 12. And next week, we're going to have our last week of work, okay? For this week, you have to complete section number four, right? And also, if possible, you need to go ahead and work in section five and the final exam. Some of you have already finished, so congratulations for that. Keep it up. But for the rest, if you haven't, you still have, you know, today and tomorrow to work on that. So guys, um, today is February 1st, right? We're, well, time is flying, time is passing by, and lots of things are coming. But we have been learning, uh, you know, some things with the manual, with the topics that we have been discussing. And I think you're getting ready for the next level. So uh, yesterday we were able to clarify some doubts. We were able to work with, with an exercise that uh, some of you were struggling with. So today we already have um, two questions, right? About the section, I think four and section five, right? So, um, we're going to begin with the last part of the um, passive voice, right, uh, information. And right after that, we're going to make some examples. And once the examples are complete, so we're going to move to the, um, to the questions, right, that you had or that you expressed in the, um, WhatsApp group, okay? So I'm going to display once again the presentation for the passive voice, okay? Give me a second. There we go. So yesterday we were talking about passive voice and we were saying that um, we need to follow some steps, right? Step number one is to identify the verb and the tense, right? When we say tense, we're talking about present, past, or future, right? So that's gonna be the first step. We're going to identify the verb and the tense it is in. So once we have the tense and once we have the, um, the verb, we're going to move to the second step, right? During the second step, what we do is that we identify the subject or agent of the sentence, right? So we get the subject, right? And so far we have two things. Uh, first, the verb and, and the, uh, the tense, and after that we have the subject. So step number three was going to identify the object, right? So once we identify the object, we write it down because it is going to be very and extremely important. Why teacher? Well, because the object, the object of the active becomes the subject of the passive, right? So that's the reason it is very important to know that. Then we have the verb, right? Verb, it's invented right? It was in past simple. Then we have the subject, right? With uh, who is Alexander Graham Bell. And we got the object that is the telephone. So in step number four, we make a switch, right? And the object becomes the subject we were saying yesterday. The verb, you know, we include the past, pa the past simple of the verb be right? And then the past participle of the verb. At the end, we have the agent, right? So the telephone was invented by Alexander Graham Bell. Very good. Then we have our new subject, our verb be, our main verb in past participle, and our agent, right? So those are going to be the 
uh, different you know elements or steps that I need to follow and collect to have my passive voice. So let's go ahead and see here. Uh, let's do one more together. Okay, so the first step, I identify the verb in the tense. So what is the verb? C. C, very good. Okay, and what is the tense? What is the tense? Present. 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 Okay, is present simple, right? That's correct. Okay. So it verb is C and it is in present simple. So now we know the verb and the tense. Now let's move. Step number two, identify the subject of the agent. So which one do you think is the subject? Millions of people. Very good, exactly. So millions of people, right, see superhero movies. So our subject will be millions of people. So now we know the verb, the tense, and also we know the subject, right? Give me a second. La persona que acaba de hacer la pregunta en el grupo está en clase ahorita. Yep. Ah, ok. Gracias. Sí, es que si ustedes me, me escriben algo ahí, entonces yo tengo que responder, ¿verdad? Porque si no, pues queda como una pregunta que no se atendió. Este fue el que hicimos ayer. Ese es el que hicimos ayer, perdón. Perdón, perdón. En el de WhatsApp. Eh, no, es que acaban de poner una pregunta, pero no sé si la persona está en la clase. Es que dice, teacher, esta me falta nada más. Ya intenté de varias maneras y me parece error. ¿Podría ayudarme con la respuesta correcta? Es la última de la sección 5. Mm. Ajá. No, no, no yo, yo puse el anterior, el del 4.8. Teacher, eh, yo creo que yo la puse, pero ya la resolví. Ah, ok. Un compañero me ayudó, eh, eh, era un, un error de espacio, doble espacio le había dado. Fíjese. No, ese es que ese está antes, este ah, es otra. Okay. Bueno, ok, entonces, I was saying, we got the subject, which is millions of people, right? So we have the elements here. And now we, we move to um, number three. It says, identify the object of the verb, right? And in this case, what would be the object? Movies. Okay. Super -hero movies. Ah, okay, correct. Super right. hero movies. Superhero mm -hmm. movies. Okay, perfect. That's right. Superhero movies, right? That's going to be the object. Superhero movies. So now that we have the verb, the tense, the subject, and the object, let's go ahead and make up our sentence, okay? So this one is the active. Now let's go ahead and passive, and pass it, I'm sorry, you're converted to passive, okay? So give me a second. Eh, Jensi, ahí está, gracias. Es que últimamente no me deja poner en silencio los, eh, um, los micrófonos, sorry. Eh, veamos, the passive voice would be? Super hero movies was seen for millions of people. Mm, is it was? Because it okay. says it is present, ah, okay, yeah, because it's present uh -huh. simple, right? Mm -hmm. um, Please, please. Exactly. Superhero movies are, right? Because it's plural and it's present simple. And then the past participle of the verb, seen, main verb, past participle, and the agent, right? By millions of people. So superhero movies are seen by millions of people. Okay. Do you have any questions? Questions? No questions. Very good. So let's go ahead and pass the attendance just before we move on. After that, we practice a little bit and then we move to your questions. So Alba Dir Portal Diaz. Here, teacher. 
Thank you so much. Alejandra Elizabeth Mendoza Arias. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Francisca Garcia Nieto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Antonio González Nuila. Here teacher. Thank you. Cecilia Elizabeth Guardado Gutierrez. Here. Thank you. Claudia Marcela Linares Urquilla. Here. Thank you. Diego Anthony Melendez Mayen. Present. Thank you. Dina Esmeralda Ayala López. Present. Thank you. Eliu Fuentes Velarde. Present. Thank you. Eh, Jaime Dagoberto Barrera Guzmán. Present. Thank you. Eh, Jaime Dagoberto ah, no, Erasmo Perla Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Jenny Lisette Campos Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. José Carlos Rodríguez Linares. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, José Francisco Peña Peña. Here, arriving just now. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you for joining. Jose Francisco. Then, Jose Jovito Torres Amaya. Present. Thank you. Mayra Lorena Portillo de Perla. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Sorry, guys, I'm pretty sick. But it's like an allergy. Give me a sec. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Maria Susana Ayala de Flores. Present. Thank you. Marta Estela Díaz Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Marta Ruth Enrique Reyes. <clears throat> Present. Thank you. Marvin Joseph Salazar Alas. Present teacher. Thank you. Nady Ibis Mendez Albeño. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Rafael Antonio Morales Martinez. Present. Thank you. Rebeca Estefanía Pereira Flores. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo Daniel Meléndez Mayen. Present. Thank you. <clears throat> Did I say Rodrigo Antonio Meléndez Morales? Present. Thank you. Uh, Rosa Maria del Milagro Perez. And Sandra Patricia Merino Moreno. Present. Thank you. Jensi Marlene Leon Lopez. Present. Sure. Thank you. And Zulma Beatriz Perez Caldames. <clears throat> I'm here, teacher. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> Thank you. A mí no me mencionó José Isaías. Sí, es que como estaba, creo que tomaba agua. Ah, sí, tiene razón, José Isaías. Aquí lo apunto. Gracias. Thank you, teacher. <clears throat> You're welcome. Thank you, Marta. Thank you very much. You're very kind. Okay, so very good. Let's continue now. And we have more questions here in the chat. Pero si están en hora clase, mejor aquí, aquí en el, en, en el chat de Zoom, porque si no aparece que, es, que estamos preguntando en el chat en hora de la clase, ¿verdad? Pero ahorita les le contesto yo. Fíjense que quizás... Vamos a pasarnos a esas preguntas porque necesito evacuar todo eso y después regreso con Passive Voice para la práctica. Vaya, comencemos entonces. Veamos. Quiero ver. Vaya, la primera pregunta es sobre 5.7, right? 5.7, veamos. Es, bueno, es antes del examen. 5.7. Antes del 4.8. Ah, ok. Solo me voy a ir en orden del, del, del WhatsApp. La primera creo que es 5.7. <coughs> okay. 5.7. And it says number two and number three, right? 
Is that the question that you have? Como no puedo ver los nombres de quien preguntan, perdón. So it's um, the, uh, the whole exercise or one, two, and three, or just two and three? La persona que nos hizo la pregunta, Estela. Sí. Vaya, sí, Estela. Yo. Ok, Estela es la dos y la tres o todas, las de la uno a la tres? Fíjese que intenté hacerlas todas, pero yo creo que en realidad <coughs> yo fui la que no entendí cómo hacerlas porque siempre me salen mal. Mm, ok, ok. Uh, it's the tag question, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So when we're talking about tag questions, uh, it's, well, by the way, what is the meaning of tag, guys? What is the meaning of tag? Anyone? What is the meaning of tag? T-A-G. There is a game, actually. Etiqueta? Etiqueta. Yeah, yeah, as a noun, as a noun, it could be like that. Very good. Any other uh, meaning that you can think of? Anyone? We use it for add something. Okay, when you add something, very good. Give me a second. I'm going to sn sneeze. Give me a second. Ay, sorry, guys. I think I'm getting sick. Veamos. Give me a moment. Tag questions. I am looking for the tag questions here in the in the manual. Give me a moment. Bye. In the manual, okay, it shows you a little bit of um, information about tag. Question, tag es una cola, es una colita, eso es tag, okay. Se ha fijado que los niños juegan mica, ¿verdad? En inglés se llama tag, okay, que va, va del uno al otro, ¿verdad? Es como eh, usted eh, toca a la persona del, del hombro, ¿verdad? Y ya. Uh, pasa el tag a la siguiente persona. Es como un, una secuencia en cola. Eso es tag. Entonces, here, una tag question para nosotros en español es diferente porque nosotros tenemos una, una específica, ¿verdad? Que nosotros agregamos. Ese tag question en realidad que nosotros tenemos en inglés es el verdad en español. Por ejemplo, Usted quiere clarificar y dice, más que todo para eso, chicos, to clarify, right? Y usted le pregunta, ¿dejaste la llave, bueno, ¿dejaste la llave en el escritorio? ¿Verdad? ¿Ok? Entonces, cuando yo hago kind of a question, es tipo pregunta, pero en realidad no lo es. Eh, si ustedes se fijan, es una oración en sí, es una firma, bueno, en este caso una afirmación, ¿verdad? ¿Dejaste la llave en el escritorio? ¿Verdad? En realidad, mi frase o mi oración no es una pregunta, pero la tag question, o sea, esa preguntita, esa colita que yo agrego, la convierte en una pregunta. Dejaste la llave en el escritorio, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo me quedo esperando por esa respuesta, right? Lo mismo sucede acá en inglés, right? With the tag question, is that you have an affirmative statement? Plus a negative tag. And a negative tag, I mean a negative statement with an affirmative tag. Okay? For example, health insurance is really expensive. Isn't it? ¿Verdad? Entonces aquí sería el seguro de salud es muy o realmente, ¿verdad? Caro. ¿Verdad? There are lots of criminals in the city. Aren't they? Graffiti makes Everything looks ugly, doesn't it? Colleagues should provide daycare, shouldn't they? Right? So in this case, all of these are affirmative statements, right? And we have a tag there. <clears throat> Now, what happens when I have a negative statement? It's the opposite, right? If I have a negative statement, 
my, my tag is going to be affirmative. Childcare isn't cheap, is it? There aren't enough, I mean, enough police, are there? People don't care about our city, do they? You can't find affordable childcare, can you? Entonces, what's the uh, idea here? ¿Cómo sé, teacher, si yo necesito un auxiliar o si necesito, pues, el verbo to be? La oración principal se lo va a decir, ¿ok? Lo primero que tenemos que hacer en las tag questions es identificar cuál es el verbo principal. Por ejemplo, health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? Entonces, yo automáticamente, al ver la oración, ¿verdad? Voy a entender que en realidad, aquí me aseca. Ok, health insurance is really expensive. El verbo principal es is, and then we have is, isn't it, right? There are, are, negativo, aren't. Graffiti makes, esto es presente simple, y como el negativo en presente simple se forma con doesn't, pregunto, doesn't it? Should, ok. Este sí es un auxiliar, así que lo paso a negativo. Shouldn't they? Isn't. Is it? Aren't. Are there? People don't care. Do. Do they? Right? Why? Because we're talking about the, um, I mean, the, that this one is the negative uh, statement. And then I'm going to have an affirmative tag. And this one is an auxiliary, so I use the auxiliary here. You can't find affordable childcare. Can you? So in this case, I'm using can. In negative, so then I'm going to uh, uh, ask my tag question in the affirmative way. Okay? Entonces, una tag question es eso, es una colita, ¿verdad? Esa pregunta es la misma que en español que tenemos como. ¿Verdad? Entonces, no sé si hay alguna pregunta hasta el momento. Questions. Teacher, y por ejemplo, la, los significados de las colitas van a variar, me imagino, ¿verdad? Es la misma. El significado es el mismo, es el mismo, ¿verdad? Todas significan lo mismo. La única diferencia es que todo lo que usted tiene que hacer es hacer match entre el verbo y esa colita. ¿verdad? Si usted se fija, Ay. todos, ajá, todos significan lo mismo, es la misma, ¿verdad? Todos, toditos. Uh -huh. Lo único que hay que estar, eh, eh, ponerle ahí atención es a que esa, esa colita haga match con el verbo principal, ¿verdad? Si es, afirma, si es eh, presente simple, pues no usamos los verbos, sino que los auxiliares, ¿verdad? Doesn't it? Gracias. You're welcome. Okay, now let's go ahead and check here. I'm going to erase all my drawings. I'm going to minimize. Well, no. I'm going to take this one over here. And we're going to work in the exercise, right? So let's do the first three, okay? You can escape advertising nowadays. So what would be the main verb? Can, can, can you? Can you? Exactly, right. So, can escape. So, my tag question is going to be can you? Y sin mayúsculas, porque en realidad no lo necesito, porque es continuación, ¿verdad? There aren't enough gun control laws. Are there? Are there? Correct, are there? Noise pollution is a major problem here. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it, right? Because, the, same, it. Uh -huh, because the sentence is uh, affirmative or the statement, right? Isn't it? Very good. There are more and more homeless people on the streets. Aren't there? Very good. Aren't there? The sale tax should be lowered. Shouldn't, 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 
Surely. Shouldn't it, right? Shouldn't it? Very good. Uh, it isn't easy to save money these days. It isn't. Isn't it? Very good. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Because it's affirmative, right? Well, actually, is, is it? Is it? Sorry, just estaba viendo la de abajo. Is it, right? Then downsizing is hurting the economy. Is it? Uh -huh. Isn't it? Isn't it? Very good, I see. Isn't it, right? The city doesn't do enough for straight animals. Does it? Does it? Very Does good. It. Does it? Vamos a ver si no me equivoqué. No, aparentemente no. So as you can see, right here we have the answers for this exercise. And now what we have to do is to match the main verb with the um, negative form if it's negative or affirmative way if it's affirmative. Do you have any questions? Questions? No? Okay, very good. So now let's continue with the next one. So we have moved to seven, I mean, 5.7, and now we have a new, which is 4.8, right? Let's see. Yes, 4.8, okay. And apparently, we're having problems with number two, right, Elio? Yes. Yes, thank you. Very good. No problem. Let's see. <clears throat> number two. 4.8. I see. So, number two number two it says a web page designer needs sophisticated computer knowledge who is a graphic artist right who is a graphic artist mm -hmm. okay now the that is the question right who is a graphic artist so the answer is A web page designer who is a graphic artist needs sophisticated computer knowledge. Correct. Very good. Now we'll show it here in case you cannot see it on the section there. A web page designer who is a graphic artist needs sophisticated computer knowledge. Very good, right? So it's number two right number two i don't know it has, if I, it has yeah. to comma i i thought that i think that like i didn't put the the second comma ah uh, yeah maybe uh -huh. that's why because in this case since it is a defining um i mean it's a relative close so it's defining we we might need it uh-huh so i think you can add it and let's see if it works <clears throat> yep Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. So besides this one, Elio, do you have more questions about 4.8? Number three. Number three, okay. An editorial page editor gives opinions about current issues. Who is a daily newspaper columnist? An editorial page editor mm -hmm. who, comma, who is a daily newspaper columnist, mm -hmm. comma again, gives mm -hmm. opinion about current issues. Correct. Okay, I'm going to uh, send it through the chat, right? And yes, an editorial page editor who is a daily Newspaper columnist gives opinions about current issues. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Any other one, Elu? No. Here? Not, not right. 
Yeah. Okay, very good. And then we have 4.8, it's the same, right? 4.8, yeah, it's yes. this one. Very good. Then I have, it says teacher, oh, me falta nada más. La número cinco, dice. Número cinco del section five. A second here. What's going on? It's no spam. Okay. Section five. This is uh... okay, Gen C. Que numero es este de la cinco? Gen C? Es el último teacher. Ah, ok. Five, five, mm. uh, join this sentence. Es esta. 5.10. Is it this one? Uh, no. Letter oh. C. Oh, no sé si alguien es que tiene pregunta con esa. Ah, I... no. Es Jenny, ¿verdad? Ah, bye. Yes. Entonces hagamos, veamos, clarifiquemos acá y luego nos pasamos al final examen again. <coughs> bye. En el uh, okay. 5.10, okay, 5.10 point ten is a reading, right? And the instructions are read the article, then number the sentences from one, first event to sixth, the last event. Type the numbers in letters, no capital letters, no periods are needed. No capital letters, nor periods, I'm sorry, are needed. Okay, very good. So, um, let's see. What would be the numbers that you are struggling with, Jenny? Jenny? Number one. Number one, okay. Very good. Let's see if my point Okay, so number one will be number first. Number six. Okay, very good. Letter B will be. Right. It's two, right? So B, it's number two. What about number three? I mean, letter C. <laughs> letter C. <clears throat> it's number three, right? And then you continue with the rest. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. If I click on submit, they are correct. So I, I will leave the half of, I mean, half of the exercise so you can complete it, okay? Thanks. You're welcome. And now we move to the exam, okay? Okay, Jensi, ¿en qué parte del examen es, perdón? It's letter C teacher. Letter? Join this letter C. Letter C. Join the sentences. Este fue el que hicimos ayer, ¿verdad? Aquí están, no sé cuál es la que, number three dice. It's, uh, number five. Ah, number five. Yes. Ok, ahí se lo paso en el, en el grupo, en el, en, el, en el chat de Zoom. Ok, Executive, thank you. you. You're welcome. Executive producers who are responsible for the budget and then involved in shooting them. Okay, very good. 
¿Hay más preguntas sobre la plataforma, chicos? ¿Questions about the platform? No questions. Bye. Entonces creo que hemos contestado todas las preguntas de la plataforma. Very good. Excellent. So let's go ahead and continue working, right? So we were able to complete the second example. Now let's go ahead and do one, two, three, four, and five. So I will give you probably five minutes. Okay, so you can double check. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to use the timer, but it will be for five minutes. Okay, five minutes, I will keep silent and you have to resolve them. Let me know.
Okay, just one more minute and then we finish. Or are you ready? Porque aquí tengo un cronómetro. No sé si ya estamos listos. Así lo, lo pauso. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay. Very good. Entonces mejor lo vamos a pausar aquí. Así lo dejamos. Okay. So here we have the steps, the different steps, right, that we need to follow to make up our sentences. So if you want to participate, you can raise your hand and I can see your name so, so that I can see your name and that you want to participate. Okay. So first one, Eliu, and then Rafael. Eliu, can you help me with number one? Yep. Uh, Amanda was stopped. Stop it by a police officer. Okay, very good. Amanda was stopped, right? Stop. Stopped. Uh -huh. Very good. Amanda was stopped by a police officer. Thank you so much. What about the next one, Rafael Antonio? The queen was photographed mm -hmm. by the tourist. Mm -hmm. The queen was photographed by the tourist. Okay, very good. Then the next one, um, Jose Francisco, then Rafael, and then Marta. Okay. Our window was broke by your little boy. Okay. Oops, sorry, ya lo reciente. Our window was broken by your little boy. Very good. Then the next one, the prime minister opened this university in 1998. <clears throat> So what will be the um, the right sentence with the passive voice? Mata. Then Jose Francisco. In 1998, this university was opened by opened by the prime minister. Mm -hmm. Okay, remember that in this case. It's like this because the agent goes at the end, ¿verdad? El, el agente siempre va al final. This university was opened by the prime minister in 1998, right? And then the last one, eh, let's see. Anyone? Uh, our milk was cooked by Mrs. Johnson. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this case, that would be our meals are cooked by Mrs. Johnson. Very good. Okay. So you can see the order of all the elements, the object, I mean, yeah, the object, verb, past participle, and then the agent, adding it by. Okay. Very good. So, so far, so good. Estamos bien ahí, chicos. Yes. Yo tenía mi, mi duda yes. con, uh -huh. con la oración del Prime Minister. Ah, ok, tell Porque me. La, la hice correcta, pero al principio es que he escrito dos veces eh, en 1998 uh -huh. y después lo, y por fin lo hice como lo hizo usted acá. Ah, por, ok. Por, 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 uh -huh. But what, pero, what do you think was the, 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 your struggle? Ajá, ¿Qué fue lo que le, le costó? Because I began, ok, I thought uh, in 19, in 1998 mm -hmm. is the, ah. the, the object or, or mm -hmm. is the university in 1998 is total the, the total object mm -hmm. and they, it's I passed the subject at first uh, how can I do with the year but with a logical uh, arrangement a mental arrangement I, mm -hmm. I put at last in 1980 Mm -hmm. 1998. Mm -hmm. It's normal. No, in this case, remember, Eliu, that the object answers a question, right? So in this case, the question the object is asking, I mean, is answering, would be the prime minister opened what? What did the prime minister open? This university. This university. So automatically, when you answer the question, right, of that object, you get the object. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. Okay. I got it. Very good. Excellent. Anyone else that has more questions? Questions? No? Okay. Very good. No problem. So let's do one more exercise. Okay. One more exercise. It's going to be this one. Okay. So this is 
a group activity, but actually uh, we're going to do it individually, right? So, for example, if um, someone asks, right? In this case, it, we're not going to ask because of the time, right? Uh, it says answer the questions, choose your answers, run the box, and when you, when we check your answers, you will have to use the passive voice with by. Mm -hmm. For example, who painted the Mona Lisa? The answer is Leonardo da Vinci, right? So in this case, we're going to um, transform that into the passive voice. The Mona Lisa was painted by Leonardo da Vinci, right? Entonces, this is going to be the example of the next activity, okay? Look, ahí tenemos el ejemplo. The question and the answer and then the passive voice. Who painted the Mona Lisa? The answer, Leonardo da Vinci. The Mona Lisa was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. So let's go ahead and work on the following questions. You have Gustave Eiffel, you have Christopher Columbus, Thomas Edison, James Cameron, Asian Egyptians, Carl Benz Mozart, and William Shakespeare, right? So all of those are the possibilities. And then we have the questions. Who discovered America? Columbus. Who invented, yeah, who invented the first car? Who designed the Eiffel Tower? Who directed Titanic, etc. So I will give you another five minutes for you to create all your sentences, okay, uh, in a form of an answer, okay? Elio already helped us with the first one. So who discovered America? He said, Christopher Columbus. Right, so we're going to write, America was discovered by Christopher Columbus, okay? Now you continue with the rest, okay? Continuen con lo demás, con los demás, y voy a poner yo aquí el timer. Veamos, there we go. Ahí lo comencé de nuevo. Any question, please let me know. Let me know if you're ready. Todavía está el timer corriendo, pero bueno, no me estoy corriendo, pero si ya estamos listos, let me know. Okay, Sandra is ready. Very good. What about the rest? Hey. First, first car was invented by Carl Benz. Okay, let's go ahead and check. Right, the first car was invented by Carl Benz. Okay, very good. Raise your hand if you have finished. If you have finished, raise your hand so I can um, ask for your answers. Okay, so who has number three? ¿Quién tiene la número tres? Who designed the Eiffel Tower? Who decided, designed, I'm sorry, the Eiffel Tower? The Eiffel Tower. Okay, so just raise your hand para que no, no choquemos. Creo que Elio había con, empezado a contestar y luego me ayuda Rafael con la siguiente. So, Elio. Yes, the Eiffel Tower was designed by Gustav Eiffel. Okay, very good. The Eiffel Tower was designed 
by Gustav Eiffel. Very good. So, Rafael, the next one, who directed Titanic? <clears throat> the Titanic was directed by James Cameron. Correct, right. Titanic was directed by James Cameron. Thank you. Who wrote Hamlet? Who wrote Hamlet? Anyone? Raise your hand. Who wrote? Okay, thank you, Rebecca. Who wrote Hamlet? Or composed to kiss Mark? Oh, repeat it one more time, I'm sorry. Uh, who wrote Hamlet? Um, Hamlet was written by William Shakespeare. Correct. Ah, yeah, it's true. I'm sorry. Creo que me salté una, disculpe. And see, si, si tenía razón. <laughs> Era the Turkish march was composed by Mozart. Y la que usted me dijo está bien. Hamlet was written by William Shakespeare, right? The Turkish march was composed by Mozart. Okay, thank you. And who built the pyramids? Who built the pyramids? <clears throat> Who built the pyramids? Mm -hmm. The pyramid was built by ancient Egyptian. Very good. The only thing, lo único que habría que cambiar es el verbo to be, ¿verdad? The pyramids were right. built mm -hmm, by the ancient Egyptians. Okay, very good. Good job with the passive voice, guys. Si ya vieron, hemos ido como evacuando algunos temas. Igual ya vamos a ir viendo también un poquito más acerca de las tag questions, ¿verdad? And also the uh, closes. Closes, I'm sorry. Because um, I know that there are some topics that take more, than, more time, but this one I consider is very important. Como les comentaba que el día la voz pasiva tiende a ser como un tema que tiende a confundirse, ¿verdad? Entonces, no worries, ¿verdad? Ya hemos practicado un poquito para que no sea tan difícil. Ok, entonces, preguntas sobre la passive voice o alguna otra pregunta, ya que todavía tengo unos minutitos de spare ahí. No questions. Bye. Excellent then. So with this uh, activity, I close the topic of the passive voice. Now over here in the platform, you can continue moving along, right? And give me a sec. You can continue moving along and you will be able to find more exercises related to unit number four. Now, if we go here, Okay, we have already covered the first thing, right? Uh, movies are hard work. We already checked the vocabulary, right? And also we were um, um, talking, right, about passive voice. Okay, then the passive to describe processes. We're going to check very quickly on that later. There is a knowledge check, right, etc. Okay, so those are the things that we're, we're going to be working with also in the manual, right? Baje su manual. Fíjense que está, yo les comentaba, ¿verdad? Que está bien bonito porque trae muchísimos más como, trae más información, vocabulario, trae varias cosas que nos pueden servir como para ir mejorando, ¿verdad? Esa parte de proficiency. Okay, let's see. You see? There are many, many activities y algunas de estas actividades incluso son las que se desarrollan dentro de la, dentro de la, de la plataforma, right? Así que let's go ahead and stop there. Vamos a quedarnos ahí y pues vamos a comenzar a pasar lista. Give me one moment. Let's see, Alba Dir Portal Díaz. Here. Thank you very much. Alejandra Elizabeth Mendoza Arias. Here. Thank you. Ana Francisca García Nieto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Antonio González Mila. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Cecilia Elizabeth Guardado Gutiérrez. Claudia Marcela Linares Surquía. I'm here. Ok, esa es la primera vez que me toca hablarle a alguien que tiene mis dos así nombres, ¿verdad? Claudia Marcela. Se siento un poco extraño. Right. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, ajá, no que me había pasado, siempre me pasaba que me pasa que tengo a, a Claudia Maricela, pero nunca había tenido a Claudia Marcela como yo, right? Así que Claudia Marcela, thank you. Diego, Anto Diego Anthony Meléndez Mayen. Present. Thank you. Tina Esmeralda Ayala López. Present. Thank you. Eliu Fuentes Velarde. Present, teacher. Thank you. Erasmo Perla Mendoza. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jaime Dagoberto Barrera Guzmán. Jaime Dagoberto. Thank you. Jenny Lizeth Campos Martínez. Present, teacher. Thank you. José Carlos Rodríguez Linares. Thank you. José Francisco Peña Peña. Present. Thank you. José Isaías Portillo Ramos. Present, teacher. Thank you. José Jovito Torres Amaya. Present. Thank you. Mayra Lorena Portillo de Perla. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ma María Azucena Ayala de Flores. Present. Thank you. Marta Estela Díaz Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Marta Estela. Eh, Marta Ruth Enrique Reyes. Present. Thank you. Marvin Joseph Salazar Alas. Present teacher. Thank you. Nady Ibis Mendez Alpeño. Thank you. Rafael Antonio Morales Martinez. Present. Thank you. Rebeca Esmeral, no, perdón, Rebeca Estefanía Pereira Flores. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo Antonio Meléndez Morales. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo Daniel Meléndez Mayer. Present. Thank you, Rosa María del Milagro Pérez de Paz. Eh, vamos a ver acá. Sandra Patricia Merino Moreno. Present. Thank you. Jensi Marlene, Marlene León López. Present, teacher. Thank you, and Zulma Beatriz Pérez Caldames. Present. Very good. Excellent, guys. So I just passed the attendance, right? Mm -hmm. And I would like to thank you for your time. Thank you for your patience, right? And yeah. we're going to continue with the topics tomorrow. I'll try to cover as much as I can so I can clarify your doubts. Pero no olvide que para pues, que yo pueda contestarle, todo lo que tiene que hacer es anotar nada más, ya sea en su cuaderno, ¿verdad? O así como hacen los chicos que lo piden a través de la plataforma, perdón, de, de WhatsApp. Ahí pueden poner sus preguntas y con mucho gusto pues les contesto. Así Richard, que... Yo no escuché mi nombre. Ah, pues quiero ver. Ay, sí, Ceci, usted me mandó un mensaje. Ahorita, Ceci. Ah, Cecilia Elizabeth Guardado. No, pero sí le puse aquí que estaba, perdón. Quizás me lo salté, Ceci, disculpe. Pero ahorita la, la, la anotamos. You're welcome. Muchas gracias. Así que, guys, thank you very much for joining. Have a good night and let's meet tomorrow, ¿ok? Good night, night teacher. Good night. 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 Well, good night. I'll see you tomorrow.